this is Kelly Figueroa. I work for Tableau as a supportability engineer. We're going to spend a few minutes today talking to server administrators or license managers. We're going to talk about the Tableau customer portal and all the different keys that you see there. We're going to talk about updating keys on Tableau server. We're going to discuss internet requirements and new for 2020 login based license management. We're going to start looking at the Tableau customer portal. And if you're a portal administrator, when you enter the Tableau customer portal from the licenses page, you'll be brought here to this default view. This shows all the product keys, both for Tableau desktop and Tableau server. In a few minutes, I'm going to show you a better view than this default view. And it's going to be better for Tableau server administrators to just see the Tableau server keys only. But while we're here, let's talk about some of the keys that we see here, because there can be some confusion based on the names of these keys, what product they should be activated on. So to start off with, we have Tableau Creator keys for desktop and prep, and they start with TC, C for Creator. They cannot be activated on Tableau Server. They're meant to be activated on desktop and prep only. Then we have some older desktop keys, and they start with TD, activated um, on Tableau Desktop only. And then, of course, all the Tableau Server keys will start with TS. Here's just a little um, review. Tableau Server keys all start with TS, and that's every type of product key, whether it's a role-based key, one of our core keys, or the old interactor style keys. And then, of course, TC is only for desktop and prep. And then TD, our old style desktop keys, and TP keys were around for a short time, but they have all expired, and they were to be activated on Tableau Prep only. So this is the view I was talking about. It has, in the Tableau Customer Portal, you can select a filter to see the keys for the Tableau Server only. This is the best view for Tableau Server administrators because it can show you if any feature flag is turned on, it can show you, if you have a core key, how many core counts is available. It can show you the number of seats, whether you have a creator, explorer, or viewer key. And of course, if you have the old style, it can show you interactor seats as well. Um, and you'll see the product name represents what is happening there on the Tableau server key, whether you have an explorer, old style interactors, and even a feature flag turned on by the key. And the last thing I want to mention is the period end date that's listed in the fifth or sixth column there. This is going to be very important when we talk about refreshing Tableau Server. So this view in the Tableau Customer Portal is the best view for a Tableau Server administrator to understand what type of key they have, if it's possible to refresh, if a certain feature is turned on, and how many seats are available on Tableau Server. So this is a really important view and we'll refer to it often. So let's talk about how to look at keys and update keys on Tableau Server. So Tableau Server comes with an interface uh, called TSM or Tableau Server Manager. There is also a command line uh, interface as well. So the uh, user interface here, which is a nice menu, shows you off to the right, the total role capacity of all the keys activated on Tableau Server. And in this example, you'll notice that these product keys also have an expiration date and are about to expire. You can see that there's a warning and that they're colored in an orange color. So if you have any product keys that are about to expire, then you'll want to make sure that you either refresh them or activate the new keys in the Tableau Customer Portal. So this is really important um, interface to look at product keys on Tableau Server. There's also a command line, which we have TSM licenses list. It also uh, has the same information as the user interface. It talks about the different types of uh, keys that you have, if there's any feature flag turned on, when the expiration date's gonna happen, and the number of seats or cores that you have available. And just to review, because this is very important when we talk about refreshing, Subscription or term keys are keys that have an expiration date. They're our most common type of key that we sell at Tableau. Once that expiration date hits, um, no refreshes can happen, and the product will stop working 
Um, the legacy perpetual key is an older style key that does not have an expiration date and only a maintenance end date. When the maintenance end date occurs, it's not possible to upgrade Tableau's server, but the product will continue to run. So that's really important to know. Okay, we're going to talk about some of the activities that occur on Tableau server, and they happen in TSM, either on the command line or on the user interface. You are often asked to change from one type of key to another. So if you have an older style interactor key and you're switching to role-based keys, creators, explorers, and viewers, you want to deactivate the old style keys and activate the new keys that you see in the Tableau customer portal. And once that's complete, then you'll want to restart Tableau Server. If you're adding a new key that turns on a, a new feature to Tableau Server, you'll locate the key in the Tableau customer portal, you'll activate the key in TSM, and then you, again, you need to restart Tableau Server. If you've purchased another year of use, there's a few things to be careful of. If you have a subscription key, and that's the key with the expiration date, if the expiration date has not occurred, you can refresh your subscription keys. And I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. If your subscription key has expired, then you'll want to activate the new keys in the portal. And then lastly, if you have the old style perpetual key that has no expiration date, they can always be refreshed. But you'll want to check the Tableau customer portal to make sure there actually is a refresh period um, to go forward to because perpetual keys um, sometimes are replaced by the new subscription type. So you want to really check the Tableau customer portal before doing any type of refreshing to ensure that there is an additional time period to refresh to. And the last thing, uh, you may have been asked to add additional seats to Tableau server. You simply find the key in the portal that has the maybe additional 100 creator seats. You activate the key and you restart Tableau server. So you notice if you're adding uh, seats or you're changing a role uh, feature, you'll always want to restart Tableau Server. So I'm going to describe how to actually do these things now. And this is, of course, the TSM user interface. You'll see that there's an activate button there on the left. You simply click on that and a box will open up and you can enter your product key and activate your key as needed. And the same, if you need to remove an old key, to activate a new one, you simply click on the little uh, circle next to the key and the deactivate license button will appear and you can deactivate keys as well. This is also possible on the command line with TSM licenses activate or TSM licenses deactivate where you specify which key you'd like to activate or remove. Now let's talk about refreshing or updating product keys. On the very far right, in the TSM user interface, you see there's a Refresh All button. You simply select that in order to refresh all the product keys. Now, if your product key has expired, then it's not possible to refresh it, and you'll need to activate the keys new. If that expiration date has not occurred yet, then it's possible to refresh your product keys. And, it's, and also, there is a TSM Licenses Refresh option if you like to use the command line. There is a behavior that can be confusing with subscription keys I want to explain here a little bit. So if you have a subscription key that hasn't expired and you refresh the key, what will happen is the expiration date will move forward to the new year. So your expiration date will change, but the product key will not. The product key will change once the previous expiration date has hit. So for example, on the very first key, if I hit a refresh all, I should see the expiration date move from November 30th, 2020 to November 30th, 2021. But the key will not change. Once the previous uh, period has gone by, November 30th of 2020, then the key will change and reflect the key that you see in the Tableau customer portal. Very confusing. Um, but it, the Tableau Server uh, Manager user interface will always reflect the key that's being used. So if you've refreshed to a new period and this key is still in use, it continues to display. 
Let's talk about internet requirements and login-based license management. We get a lot of questions in technical support about the many URLs that need to be open to the network in order to use online activation and login-based license management. You can simply Google Tableau Internet Access Requirements to find the document that lists the URLs. We need uh, these 20 URLs because we host Tableau license service on AWS, and there's a certificate revocation list, or CRL, that requires these, these URLs, the many, 20 of them. Now, we also get asked, if I do I need to also use port 80 and 443? And the answer is yes. Um, port 80 is needed for the certificate verification. So when you do look at internet access requirements, you do need to open all the URLs listed in the document, as well as port 80 and 443. We're going to talk about login-based license management. This is new for 2020. And login-based license management, or LBLM, is the ability for Tableau Desktop or Tableau Prep users to, to activate the software without having to enter a product key. Pretty fantastic. The end user simply signs into Tableau Server or Tableau Online when activating desktop for the first time. The user needs to be a creator on Tableau Online or Tableau Server. And Tableau Server does need a special key activated, which turns the feature on. And we talked about this a little bit, about how to see if a key has a feature turned on, which can be in the TSM UI, TSM licenses list, or the Tableau uh, customer portal. We'll also show when a key has LBLM turned on. So lots of ways to see if you have this ability. The benefit of login-based license management is the Tableau Server actually manages the desktop and prep software use. So no more of the desktop and prep users needing to deactivate the key to change users. They don't need to refresh their keys. There's no more maximum activation errors. Um, everything is done via the Tableau server or Tableau online. One of the great things as well is if virtual desktop is being used um, for either prep or desktop deployment, the end user doesn't need to enter a product key each time they get a VM delivered. They simply log into Tableau server or Tableau online. So a much better end user experience um, to use LBLM. Now I have some settings here on the screen. There are uh, three settings. The first one is just to set the feature on. So to, to have LBLM come into play on Tableau Server, you need to set the feature on, and you also need to have a product key that has the feature enabled. So really important. Both of those things need to occur. Now, the second setting, um, which is important, is the desktop or prep client. It's called the authority to run duration. This is important in controlling the end user experience on how often the prompt for activation occurs. And then the very last setting is the maximum amount of time that the desk, desktop or prep user can specify for this time. So if your company is interested in, in controlling the duration time for the end users, you'll want to use that third setting. Um, there's a lot of information here. And there is some uh, online help on Tableau Server for LBLM, which will explain these settings and also how the feature works. Um, so I suggest uh, taking a look at our online help, which has a lot more detail. What else do we need to talk about here? Let's talk about Tableau Server Administrators. So Tableau Server Administrators will always take up the highest role that's available on Tableau Server. So if you have creator seats available, the Tableau Server Administrator will take those over any other roles. If you have a core key only that has explorers, then the Tableau Server Administrator can take um, an explorer role. And of course, Tableau Server Administrators can never be a viewer. So if you only have a viewer key activated on Tableau Server, you will not be able to make a Tableau Server Administrator. So it's really important when you install Tableau Server or upgrade Tableau Server, that you have all the product keys activated from the Tableau customer portal so that you can understand how the Tableau Server administrators will take up the highest seat. 
And another thing that comes into play, we call it stacking keys. And that means activating um, multiple keys all together. This is very common because you have uh, different keys for different roles. You have a key with a feature. So you typically will have many keys activated on Tableau server. There's a special kind of key called the embedded analytics key, which restricts uh, data sources. This is not to be stacked with our standard licensing and should be a standalone model. You want to talk to your Tableau account manager if you have any questions about that. And of course, lastly, all the Tableau product keys should have the same, we call it a co-terminated end date. So when you look in TSM licenses list or the TSM UI, all the keys that you have activated should be ending on the same date. If they do not, you want to work with your Tableau account manager and get that fixed. It can be a very bad customer experience when one of the keys expires and users go unlicensed. So you want to make sure you have co-terminated end dates. Lastly, we have some good resources for you. Uh, the community is always a great resource, the Tableau community. I also have a blog um, that talks about the refresh behavior we discussed here, or the Tableau customer portal key and the TSM do not match after refreshing. So a, a good blog on that. We have some great knowledge base articles about managing Tableau product keys. And also it discusses the Tableau customer portal. There's some new features and new roles that have happened at the end of 2020 in the Tableau customer portal. So you want to take a look at that for sure. And then lastly, Tableau Server has great online help for license models. It has a licensing overview and, of course, login-based license management and all the features um, and settings that you can apply. So thank you for your time today. Uh, talk to your Tableau account manager or Tableau technical support if there's any questions about some of the things discussed here or if you need a deeper dive onto your account. So thank you so much, and I hope you found this helpful.